super excited to let you know that Hello Cupid and Remy Lover Friends are both returning on 4th of July for a double feature weekend. and the ultimate pursuit of happiness. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're super excited. Um, I mean, Remy Lover Friends is awesome, so it'll be super fun to be paired with Remy Lover Friends, and you guys are definitely in for a treat. A real this treat. Season. A triple chocolate treat. Yeah, so thank you for supporting us, and we love you guys, and we're so excited to see what you guys think about the rest of the season. Yeah, be sure to tweet us and let us know your thoughts on, you know, just really anything in life, like Obamacare or. Totally. I've had some babies with that. <laughs> Fourth of July weekend! Be there or be square. Don't be square. Yeah, square is whack. Square is a circle, is so a hectagon, an octagon, something, not a, not a square though. Yeah. For sure. Or a diamond. Oh my gosh. I Shine love bright like a diamond. Diamonds are forever. There's also a girl's best friend. They sure are. I was trying to think of something else. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> and some of them are black. Black and sexy, black baby. diamonds. Hey. What? Black and sexy, baby. Black and sexy, baby. Relationships and privacy. Are you involved in a relationship? I am, yes. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Being as gorgeous as you are, are you currently in a relationship? Yes and no. Yes. Well, that's quite the answer. Please elaborate. <laughs> I'm in a relationship without the title. Ooh, this gon' get good. <laughs> How long have you been dating your significant other? I'm about six months. Ooh. Two years. Is love on the horizon? Every relationship has its problems and its ups and downs. It's just if you're that person to deal with it, that's all. So who's dealing with it, you or your partner? Both. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way to look at it. How long have you guys been dating? A lot. Um, I'm mad that you pass it on to her like you don't even know. I know. Like seven years now. High school sweethearts. OMG, that is beautiful. Everybody home, give a hand clap for that. For real, seriously. I love long relationships. That means y'all are in love and love. Love and love. Yeah. About six months. Mm. So you think you're in love with this mysterious person that does not want to give you the title of his girlfriend? He wants to give me the title of his girlfriend. You don't want it. I don't know if I want it yet. No, I want it. Well, that's a twist. Have you dealt with privacy issues? Yes. Has your partner ever asked you to go through your phone? Or have you ever asked to go through theirs? I don't ask, I take. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're doing it like that now. Have you guys ever gone through each other's phones? Yeah, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Do you feel as though you went through his phone or you went through her phone because she went through your phone or he went through your phone? Just but we both just want to do our investigation to see Snoop because we have the right to Snoop and then we just went through each other's phones. <laughs> so it was a one-time deal. Um, maybe it was more than once. I went through your phone more than once. <laughs> a few times. Over the course of seven years, how how many times would you say? A few times, but I will say it's not good. It's not healthy, and it should stop. And and it, it should stop. But it's not good. It's not good for the spirit. You know, it's not yeah, good. So it's not good. that's. You have to trust and be comfortable yes, with I'm glad we got through that. At an early age. I know me personally, I probably wouldn't go through his phone, but I would hope that he wouldn't go through mine. I would hope that he would trust me enough to not feel the need to go through mine. At least I don't I don't think he's going through my phone. I don't know what he does when I'm sleeping, <laughs> but uh, I haven't gone through his. Have you gone back repeatedly looking for stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Where is that trust, Emil? Yeah, I have done that. I have done that. He's like, I did do that. I did do that I did a little a bit. A lot? A lot? Dad, all right, for real though, let's talk about the trust. Where's the trust, Emil? I trust. It's just the problem is I just want to make sure. <laughs> I just want to verify. Uh, my partner has a trust issue. 
so he goes through my phone. I don't go through his because I guess I trust him more than he trusts me, but it's something we have to work on. Where do you feel as though he developed his trust issues? I guess I'm also part of the problem too at times. You know, I guess I can be a little too friendly and it may rub off the wrong way to other men. Guys sometimes misconstrue being friendly for flirty. Yeah. Definitely not the case, guys. Just because we're nice to you does not mean we're trying to get your number. Hell no. no. Hell to the now. Aside from going through um, your significant other's phone, have you ever been through their social media? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? That's all associated with their phone. So you go through everything. But I go One stop shop. There you go. Pictures, messages, emails, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, Google Mail, if you even got that, even another phone line, talk, to, even any app that's on the phone I go through, just to make sure. How do you have the time to do this? Well, when you just sit there, I'm very fast at what I do. I can go through the iPhone like it's nothing. Or I can just plug the iPhone up to my Mac and it shows everything to me. So, is he doing? <laughs> I'm mad that your Mac is a partner in crime. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I'm all over it. I've let my friends go through things like, oh, um, have you heard about this person? I don't know, girl, let me Facebook stalk, let me Instagram stalk, let me Twitter stalk, and then they'll give me the report. So I don't even have to do it anymore. It's I a legit thing. Facebook investigations are legit things. <laughs> I've been able to solve murders through Facebook investigations. I'm just I joking. Have, I, I have them, but I barely use them because I don't want that problem. So I just try to stay away from it if I don't need it, you know, but right now I'm a, I don't need it. I have social friends out here meeting actual per in person. I'd rather be a face-to-face -face person, you know what I mean? Way to take it back to the old school, socializing, actually socializing. Okay, wait, I love that you're giving us tips on how to go through our other people's phones. What else, are the, what else do we need to look out for? You pick up their phone when you want to. You don't tell them, oh, let me see your phone because then, or when I get to your house, I'm going to see your phone because then they give you all the chance. Okay, driving down the car, driving, driving down the street in the car one day, just grab the phone, but hey, let me see it. And then you never know. You find it that you don't sweat. <laughs> so the secret is to catch them off guard. Yes. I'm not giving no one tips. <laughs> He's not giving away the secrets. No, you got to keep the secrets. Okay, all right. You know, I dig it. you watching this. <laughs> Okay, what are the things that are making you feel like you possibly do not want to be his girlfriend officially? I don't know. Can we pause? <laughs> we can move on to another question. There's no stopping this train once you're on it. <laughs>